So when the next of us is found pistol first, painted red by the brush of his own insides, I don't cry. We go too fast, too young, but not unexpected. So common we don't need to talk about it. It is just what we do. The first time my aunt attempted suicide, she wrote us a two-page letter detailing her grief, what it mean to get gone after years of not being here. When she woke up, we reminded her we prayed to a savior that does not give more than we can handle, called her decision a failure of faith while refusing to believe she'd try again. The next letter just said, take two. By then, we had lost an uncle, a few cousins, even our grandmother's suicide runs in this family. I am convinced that it is my inheritance, a tombstone stamped on this DNA. We so sad, we smile every day. Keep an outfit pressed for the funeral. Another one set aside to become the burial clothes. We already know what the epitaph will be. Here lies another who believed in God so much they did not trust the men that he has made. We do not seek help in this family. Do not call this sorrow a sickness. We fall on the wrong side of every statistic describing black folks with mental illness. We cry, then pray, then bury our dead. Cry and pray again. The first time I attempted suicide, my mother talked to God all night. Told him she would give anything just to keep her baby girl here, while at the same time telling my doctor we did not need his suggestions for counselors. Even Jesus survived a 72-hour hold when he threw it all in at Calvary. And what are we if not made in his image? Made to carry our crosses in silence and hope one day there will be resurrection. Sometimes I look at my baby brother and wonder the crucifix inside his head, hoping that my still being here doesn't mean that he will be next, found teeth to tile and brush the side like some kind of failure of faith when I tell my mother I am finally getting help for the burden that comes with this bloodline she asks how it was so easy for me to turn my back on God I tell her mom the apostle Luke was by trade a physician even Christ had a doctor at his disposal who am I to turn aside the kind of assistance my savior was able to send for aren't you tired of going to funerals do you know your children have already planned theirs? We want to go of old age, but that doesn't run in this family. <laughs>